sort of wine is this? Because I made a really big deal about how I knew this was Chardonnay. <laughs> <laughs> Another week. Wine for the people. How's your Monday? Uh, mine's great. I'm about to taste six delicious wines and talk about them, even though I don't have any right to say anything about anything that winemakers do. Let's get into it. Uh, big thanks as always to Sometimes Always. These guys are fantastic. They're always hooking us up with some interesting wines to try. I think this is a little sticker boy here that I might try and open up. Yeah, sure is. Uh, thanks. Sometimes Always. Thanks for everything, guys. Right. Wine number one. Nice little unfiltered, definitely unfiltered. Pretty cloudy, pretty hazy. Oh, it smells like really good Gamay. It smells like really, really good Gamay. Yeah, I'm always salivating when I see like a, a color of wine like this, especially with the, the lack of filtration at this point. It just gets me sent to flavor town. This is curious. This is actually a really interesting wine. It's a really good drink, actually. I've seen really bad examples of this before, and this is definitely not that. This is actually really quite delicious. It's just like strawberries and black cherries and all the, all the good, fun, plush, red, brambly fruits. Yeah, juicy, fruity, uh, just a fun time. I would, I reckon this is gonna cost me about 45 bucks. And I would probably go three bottles. I'd like to see how this develops in the cellar. I'd like to see it with a little bit more age on it, but at the moment, it's actually looking like pretty good drinking. All right. Number two, Rosé. I'm making the call. I think it's Chardonnay. I think I'm getting good at this. I reckon this is Chardonnay. And it is crisp, but it is clean. It's definitely a, a wine that's probably been produced in more of a modern slant. Uh, I, know, I know what this wine is. <laughs> I, know, I know what this wine is. This is close to Bone uh, to Bourne Rosé. Um, I've had this uh, wine like so much this year. This is the wine. This is literally the wine. I've had this wine so much this year that I've just like, become really quite affiliated with the with the wine itself. I've just got this imprinted in my brain. Yeah, I'm gonna say 50 bucks a bottle because that's, it tastes like there's a lot going on in there. It's not just like a little white, white wine. It's actually a fair bit going on. Uh, I'm gonna say 50 bucks and I'll buy a dozen. That's not necessarily indicative of the fact that I love the wine so much. It's just that that's how quickly I would consume the wine. Yeah, delicious. Such a great, great little wine. It's just like all citrus peels and, oh. Infinity bottles. Wine number three. Back in the red side of things. It's quite savory. Pulls me towards like Italy. Maybe like Etna Rosso or something like that. It smells incredibly savory. Pretty opaque, which, you know, I don't need to tell you what that means. Really nice like crisp red fruits, nice little structure, structural tannin. The acid line on this is really pristine. It's really, it's almost electrifying. It's very prickly. I think that this might be, that might be a little bit of reduction in here, which is something that we spoke about before. Oh yeah, oh yeah, I'm into that as well. Yeah, delicious. Um, I really love this style of wine. It is like that Pinot-esque, um, lighter bodied style that you really want quite regularly, for me at least. I'll, I'll, I'll take three bottles of this and I reckon this comes for about, I, I hope it's around 35 bucks. Number four, and I'm staring at something locky here that I think I'm gonna love. Pretty like ruby, but it's got that like brownish tinge garnet. <sighs> Another red, uh, a little bit more translucent, and you know, that's something. Uh... Wow, so structural and savory. It's like it's, it, it brings out all of the kind of cliche statements of like forest floor and wet leaves and mushrooms. Ooh, that's interesting. Rose petals, uh, you know, crushed violets, a lot of crushed. Uh, like dried floral petals. I think I'd probably prefer the last one. Uh, this one, I'm gonna say again, $35. Feels like a very similar wine, similar price point. But, oh man, this is great. And this, this, is, still, this is still pretty young. I reckon this could develop into something pretty, pretty delicious in time. All right, cool. Nice and clear. If we're using Doyle's patented opaque to translucent scale, this is very much so a translucent red. We're talking, obviously, an immensely light color, very delicate extraction. That's cool. Bit of, I think there's a bit of, there's definitely a bit of BA here, so it's pretty lifted. And it, it's great, it's really drinkable. Uh, I hope it's cheap. Smells like a two Amaro bitter herbs. Definitely has me thinking Australian Nebbiolo again. Watch me call like a $150 bottle of red the chicken nuggets of red wine, that'll be funny. Three bottles for me. Great stuff. I'm gonna give this 40 bucks. I hope it's 40 bucks. I gotta say, it's a really well-made wine. It's like, it's it's a very, very well-made wine. All right, so was this the only white wine? Oh, cool, all right. 
Smells like white wine. I think this is another Chardonnay. Which makes me think the first one, almost definitely not a Chardonnay. And I put my hat on that. Fuck. Nice and floral. Like tea and white flowers and all that kind of thing. Incredible. It smells awesome. Yeah, real, really lemony, really citrusy. Uh, whoo! That's a roller coaster. Oh, that's, that's amazing. Mm. Quite a light white. Um, can imagine drinking that along down the beach somewhere. Get it on ice, nice and cold. If that isn't dope chackly, I don't know what is. That has so much acid, you could power a house. I'm gonna say uh, 25 bucks, and again, another dozen. Sick lineup though, I was really into a lot of them. That's probably the most, so I've got like 12, that's the most bottles I've probably had from a lineup so far. So either I'm developing a palette and getting nicer wines, or we've just had an absolute lineup this week. Um, oh, should we delve straight in? Let's jump into yeah, it. Right on top, wine number one. Sweet, Bargain. we're all over We're anyway. very happy. Happy with value wine. What have we got? What have we got? Small fry! Oh, sick. For Grenache? Sick, yeah, of course. It sort of explains why it had that sort of heat to it. Yeah. That sort of lower acidity. Um, yeah, really cool, uh, really cool producer. Obviously, Small Fry, one of the OG uh, Natty Vine producers uh, of the area. And Farmers just as well. Generally nice people. Like, really genuinely nice people. Moving on to the next wine, which I think uh, I think you're going to be all about because it's just a nice, easy, smashing rosé. Provence rosé. <laughs> um, I, I think, didn't. anyway. Yeah, I, I, I called the wine. I know what yeah. wine this is. Yeah? Yeah. We don't <laughs> what it, it. You reckon? You reckon it's close to it? All right, cool. Okay, I'm, let's see. I'm, put, I'm throwing he's, it down. He's throwing down the... This is what the wine is. All right, cool. Let's see what we got. What do we got? Yep, that's Shoot. what I put down. I said infinity Has bottles. he got it? Has he got it? Has he got it? Oh, he did it! Oh, that's fantastic! Well done. Good form. I'm like, run Good the form. run the tape back. I only smelled it before calling it. Ah, oh, I know, I know what this wine is. Three, I had it at 55 bucks. I also wanted 12. I thought this was a really cool sort of maybe Cabernet Franc, Loire yeah. Valley, high acid little number. I had really scrum. All right, what have we got? Three bucks. Bargain. Bargain. Cool, nice. What have we got? Six. Cool. I don't know what this is. This is Chateau Cambon. Cambon? Record day. 2019. Beaujolais! Gamay! Yeah, hell yeah. Dope. High acid gamay, man. High acid gamay. That's really cool. And I wish you had 40 bucks. Shit. That's great value. That's that really, really, really good, good value. value. On to the next one. I thought I had a weird stab that this was Shea Vanesca, which is a, 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 a sort of super niche, high altitude Nebbiolo variant. Cool. Big fan of the wine, irrespective of Love what it wine. is. Brilliant wine. Yeah. What do we got, Lockie? Well, we, we, we yeah, I had it I'm the in. other. I had it the wrong way around. I had it 65. Yeah, 65. I had 12. I had 12. I, no, I, had, I, was six, big I had six. It. Sorry. Big on it. Big on it. Dude, are you serious? Do you do you reckon he's right? Was that? Is it is it a Tempranillo? No, it's a DOC. It's a, a Montalcino. Uh, Montalcino is um, uh, Sangio. Sergio Oh, there yeah. you go. Yeah, yeah. Well yeah. done. Rosso Montalcino. Wait, so yeah, what was absolutely. I, what was I right about? Right about. Uh, no, I, I, honestly, I just thought it was Tempranillo, um, <sighs> and I thought that you're in with a like a wild shot that you called it as temp, but uh, yeah. it's not. No. Temp. On to uh, next one. What have we got, Lockie? Oh, I was on forty-five. I Dollar was on, I was on forty. Whoa. What does that mean? Doesn't mean anything. None of this means anything. What's a perfect? Oh, oh, sick, dude. You were right. Aussie Neb. There we go. Dude from a sick producer as well, Architects of Wine, um, based up in the hills, uh, and he does some really, really cool... Um, Long view sort of, vineyard. Yeah. Okay, cool. And one of the um, sort of more renowned vineyards for Nebbiolo yep. in the hills, um, really good spread of clones, obviously you can tell them. A neb head. Uh, an absolute neb nerd. Um, cool example. And at what, $46? Yeah. Really, really good. Um, you... One of the better examples. All right, probably the wine of lineup, I think, for all of us. Wine that of we the lineup. Completely taken by... Thrown for six because I'm not too sure what it is. Uh, what the fuck is this? Great. Shoot. Right. What do we got? Maybe in Chardonnay. That is awesome. Big round of applause. That is you, awesome. Pete. That's fucking awesome. Holy shit, Batman. That's fucking brilliant. That is gnarly. That is gnarly. Well, smell that now, dude. Holy fuck, it's that's opening, opening up. up. Yeah, that's Only just Only round of applause. That's that is just fucking too unreal. Fucking good. So Pete Dredge, Dr. Edge, uh, yeah, that is next freaking level. So lean, so mineral, so crisp. I wasn't even in the country. Yeah, neither um, was I. 
Fuck that's yeah. next level. Well that done. is next well level. Done, Pete. That's fucking next level. Probably one of the most amazing lineups that we've had. Super fun to taste through. I, I think we could all agree. Uh, Dude, impressed, because you did tell me that, that you thought this was Chardonnay. Yeah, but I'm also, I feel like a bit of a goose because you guys have got it down for 12 bottles and tasting it again now, I feel really embarrassed that I have one bottle because <laughs> this is really fucking tasty. I, yeah, messed up. I'll be swallowing this up like crazy, but uh, guys, thank you so much for chiming in. Until next week, we're here.